Wadilo, iwa wadilo, iwa wadi mailo, afar an omega, beside it there is no God, you alone are my God, afar an omega, rock of Jaira, Jehovah Nisi. There is no one like you. You are my Lord. There is no one I go like you. You are where the Lord. You are where the Lord. Sikadara Baba. Shidi Yanala Mama. Hey, Kama Mama. Masunda La Mayinda. There is no like you. There is no one like you. You alone are my God. You are where the Lord. You are where the Lord. You are where the Lord. You are where the my Lord. You are where the my Jesus. You are worthy, my Savior. You alone are God. Beside me, there is no God. You alone are alone. You are worthy, my Lord. You are worthy, my Savior. Shidala, mama, mama. Ikabala, baba, tuna. You alone are my God. Besides it, there is no God. You alone are my King. You are worthy, my Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, my Lord. You are worthy, my Jesus. How far and omega. There is no God like you, Jehovah Najarah, hallowed be your name. You are where the Lord, you are where the Lord, you are where the my God, you are where the my Savior, you are where the my King, you are Lord our God. You alone are my God. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. When is the Lamb that was slain on Calvary? Where is the Lamb that was slain on Calvary? His name is Jesus. A great redeemer, his name is Jesus, the most high God, Jesus, the lion of Judah, Jesus, Jesus, where did the land I was slain on Calvary? My word is the land I was slain on Calvary. His name is Jesus. He's a great redeemer. His name is Jesus. The most high God. Jesus. Jesus, Jehovah is your name, Jehovah is your name, mighty warrior, great in the battle, Jehovah is your name, Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name, is your name, Jehovah, is your name, hey, mighty warrior, great but still, Jehovah is your name, 
is your name, Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Mighty warrior, ready battle, Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jesus is your name. Mighty warrior, grand in the battle, Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jesus is your name. Alpha and Omega is your name. Jehovah is your name. Mighty warrior, great in battle. Jehovah is your name. Hallelujah. Let's worship the Lord and give him glory. Let's glorify King of Kings and Son of God. Let's sing a new song of His name is Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord for above all name. No. Let's worship Him as King of Kings. Let's give him glory, Lord. Let's worship him, Lord. Glorify your name. We glorify your holy name. We exalt you. We exalt you. We exalt you. I honor you, Prince of Peace, mighty God. Almighty God, you are excellent. You are Prince of Peace. You are Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. We give you glory, Lord. Mandela, ma, 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 ma. Jehovah is your name. Mighty warrior, great in the battle. Jehovah is your name. Mighty warrior, great in the battle, Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Redeemer is your name. Precious lamb, now a slain on Calvary. Jesus, the lion of tribe of Judah. We give you glory, we give you worship, O Lord. We honor you, Lord. We exalt the Lord. We exalt the Lord. Let the glory fill my heart. Let your praise fill my soul. Let each verse love her unto you, the sacrifice of praise, because you alone are holy, you alone are worthy, you deserve my praise, Jesus, you have because you alone are holy, you alone are worthy, you deserve all my prayer, Jesus, you alone, because you alone are holy. 
yes you are you alone my world you deserve all my praise Jesus you alone Jesus you alone because you alone are holy my God my God you alone are worthy you deserve all the glory Jesus you alone we give you glory Lord we give you worship Lord we give you glory Lord we exalt you Lord we honor you we worship you your faithful God glory hallelujah Lord Hosanna to the Lamb that was slain Hosanna to the Lamb that was slain Jesus died and rose again Jesus died and rose again I give you glory Lord I give you worship Lord you alone are my God you alone are my king you deserve my praise you deserve my worship jesus you alone you alone are holy you alone my worthy you deserve my praise you deserve all my prayer Jesus you alone now let us in one accord find the Lord God Almighty for bringing us together this evening to study his word Let's worship and adore him. Let's exalt his name above every other name. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, Come and let us go into the house of the Lord. Let's give praise to our king for such a great honor and a great opportunity to come before him. Let's thank him. Father, we thank you. Father, we honor you. Father, we adore you. We exalt you and we esteem you higher than any other name. We worship you, Prince of Peace and Mighty God. We adore you, we adore you, we adore you, we adore you. We say, take the glory, take the glory, take the glory. Let everything within me bless the name of the Lord. Let everything within me exalt the peace of peace and mighty God. Everlasting Father, everlasting Father, Jesus is your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. We worship you. We adore your name. We worship you, my God. Ya na 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 ma si de de ya na na ma ma kunda la ma ma. Ye ke de 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 bo si na 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 de de bo si ka ba ba da ya ma ma. Oh, the glory of your presence. soak ourselves in the blood let's cover ourselves in the blood let's cover the network in the blood as many who are taking part this evening 
from all over across the world. Those who are following us, worshiping with us on Facebook, those who are on Zoom, those who are here, let's soak ourselves in the blood. Father, we cover our meeting in the blood. We cover ourselves in the blood. We plead the blood. We plead the blood over our soul. We plead the blood over our hearts as we seek the forgiveness of God. As we ask you to cleanse us, O oh God. Wash us from anything. Wash us and purify us, O oh God. Let your blood wash us and cleanse us. Let the blood of Jesus Christ wash us, O oh God. Let it wash us. Let it wash us. Let it wash us. Make a Let the blood of blood of blood of blood. The blood that never loses power. The blood that never loses power. Let the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus wash us, oh God, cleanse us inside out. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Take control, take control, take control. Take control. Take control, Holy Spirit. Guide us in your truth. Guide us in your truth. Feel us in your will. Surround us with your power in the mind in the name of Jesus. Let destiny be birthed out, let life be changed. Let focus be directed, O oh God. Oh, yes. Father, we cried in this evening, O oh God, your glory, your glory, your glory shall fill our hearts, O oh God. We worship you, we worship you, Lord, we worship you. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Let your glory, let your glory, let your glory fall. Let your word be heard. Let your word be heard. Let the truth be known. Let your will be known. Let your power fall. Let your will be known in our heart in the name of Jesus. Lord, prepare. Me to be a sanctuary, be all I holy, trying and trying with hands to give Talk to God, our Lord, speak to my heart this evening. Speak to my heart. Let your word bring change. Change that will affect every area of my life. Say, Lord, I want to hear your voice. Bring me to an intimate relationship with you this evening. I want to date you this evening. I want to date you this evening. Talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. Oh, Lord, I want to hear your voice. In the name of Jesus, speak to my heart, speak to my heart, oh God, speak to my heart, I need a revelation from you, oh God, I need a revelation from you, oh God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, mold me and make me, mold me and make me, Lord, mold me and make me, Lord, change my heart, oh Lord, change my heart, oh Lord, I need a difference, oh God, I need a difference, oh God, I need a presence, of God that bring reformation and in the presence of God that bring transformation, oh God, let it be ministered to your people. 
people tonight. Let it be ministered to your people. Let us speak to your children. Oh, your children, I want to hear you, Lord. Oh, your children are thirsty for you. They are longing for you. They are hungry for you, oh God. Feed them. Father, feed them, oh God. Father, feed us, oh God. We are here to be fed by you. We are here to be revealed by you. We are here, oh God, to identify ourselves to you. We cry that you be known. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen, amen and amen. amen. We are welcome into the presence of God. Uh, turn your Bible with me as the topic of tonight is contending for the faith. Contending for the faith. Contending for the faith. Tonight we have loads of people following us. You are welcome, brothers and sisters who are joining us. Mami Obakia Nyamishra. God bless you, darling, for joining us, Sister Candy. Thank you, darling, that you've joined us. And many more that I can't name them who have joined us online and watching us. We have brothers and sisters as well from Germany from spain from uh let me see those who are in from leicester from france and uh yeah many are yet to join many are yet to join so we thank god tonight you're welcome to and some holiness teachings a holiness fellowship thank god thank god Today we want to read from Jude, the book of Jude, written by the physical blood-related brother of Jesus Christ. His name is Jude. Jude is only one chapter. That is where we're going to stand and um, study the entire book. It's a very powerful book. We will try as much as possible that we have about one hour and a half that we will study that book. And every question that you have, you can read. Those of you who are watching us from online, please, if you have a question, I want you also to write it and I can read it and I will discuss it. Sunday evening and Friday evening is Bible studies that we allow people to ask questions, people to comment when they have any questions. So as you are there, I promise you when you bring your question, I will read it and uh, I will try as much as possible to find answer because the Holy Spirit is here. Sister Anash, you are there. God bless you, darling. All right. So who is reading? Jude? Jude. Pastor, please, the verse. Please start from number, verse number three. Oh, let's, chapter sorry, one, Sister Esther. Three. Start from the verse one, please. Start from the verse one. Please, I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Jude the servants of Jesus Christ and brother of James to them that are sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ and called to mercy unto you. All right, please stop there. So now the introduction is Jude introducing himself or who he is and he felt it not worthy even to consider that he is a brother to Jesus Christ. Instead, he said a brother to James <laughs> and a servant of Christ. You see, Mary called Jesus my Lord. Mary didn't see Jesus as her son. Although she made herself available for the Lord to be birthed into this earth, yet she never identified herself with him physically. He identified herself with the Lord spiritually. 
very, very essential. And their brothers, physical brothers as well, they all identify themselves with the Messiah, not the son of Mary. And this book basically was written for all saints, for all Christians. There are some of the books that were given to uh, Colossians, Corinthians, uh, Galatians, Ephesians, as Brother Paul was written the letter to all these churches. But this particular book was dedicated to all saints. So, continue, sister. Please, I continue from the verse 2. Uh -huh. Mercy unto you, and peace, and love be multiplied. Mercy. Love. Mercy will Mercy. We will break it gradually. Mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied. Why do you think that the style of Bible goes like that? That those who are writing Bible, they were always blessing people instead of cursing people. Why? Why? Sister Lucrez? Okay, start blessing. Yeah, they took the example from Jesus. Mm. Jesus did not curse anybody. Mm. Wow. The spirit of Christ never <laughs> cursed. One particular thing. The Bible said that Jesus was tempted in all manner, but he didn't sin. That was the curse. He never pronounced curse upon any person. Even the Judas Iscariot, the Lord didn't curse him. He said, woe unto the person. Woe in a form was a very dangerous word. The only word that Jesus said was woe unto a person. But he didn't curse any person. And when the Bible said that he was tempted in all manner of life, yet without sin. The sin that the Bible was talking about, not fornication or stealing or lying. But one of the most dangerous and the very threatening issue was cursing. Because that was uh, required... For those who were challenging him at all time. But he never cursed them. God bless you sister. Is there any question in that part? Or any contribution? Alright. Sister Esther continue on then. Please I continue from the verse 3. Beloved. When I gave all diligence to write unto you. Of the common salvation. It was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Amen. That you should earnestly contend for the faith. What does that word mean? Earnestly and contending. What does it mean? For my contribution, I am... Content means to fight for your faith. To fight for. And, and that's, that's it, diligently. You have to hold on fast because you can lose it. Mm. So it says you have to uh, fight and hold on to your faith. Mm. We should fight and hold on to, mm. to our faith. So meaning that there is a work then. There is a war. It's, it's a war. Mm. It's not only a work, but a war. Mm. 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 What do we fight for in life? Things that we fight for, what are the characters that we can or we can we can blend? What can we say about things that we fight for? Okay, glory. Thank you, sister. Sister Jack. Say we fight for. Uh-huh. What do we fight for? What are the things that we fight for in life? We fight for our life. We fight for our life. Can we fight for life? We can't. Yet we try to fight for. When you are sick and you are, you, are, you, are, you are taking medication, you are fighting for your life. There are two things we can't fight for in life. Yesterday I shared them on Facebook. So those who are reading Facebook, I mentioned two things we can't fight for. Number one is life. I think we are, we are, we are as a Christians, we are fighting for our salvation. We fight for our salvation. Sister Anna said we fight for our faith. Mm -hmm. We fight for our faith. Uh-huh. We fight for our faith and we fight for our salvation. Salvation and the faith, they are like more of intertwined because faith leads us into salvation. God bless you, Mama Vic. Uh-huh. We fight for our salvation. Yes. 
for peace. We fight for peace. Sister Ekua said that truthfully, we fight for the truth. We battle. Fight is a battle. We battle. Uh huh. Fight for peace. Basically, anything that. Sorry, it's a blessing. Righteousness. We fight for righteousness. We fight for righteousness. Uh huh. Fight for righteousness. There are two things that man fights for in life that we can't defend them. Truth. When we fight to defend truth, we can't. Truth will defend itself. When we fight for life, we can't fight for our life. Doctors can do whatever they want, but if a person wants to die, he will die. Or the person has to die. We can't fight for our life, our breath, but we can fight for our eternal life. So we have two lives. The present life we can't fight for, but the future life we can fight for them. And that's what the Bible is saying, contending for your salvation, contending for your faith. You hear many people talking about this. Salvation is not a work. Salvation is a free gift, believing in the free gift of God. Yesterday I had this uh, a bump into a WhatsApp group that somebody brought that argument. And any attempt to explain it was not producing because of the level of the people understanding. Sometimes it's very hard to explain the word of God to people who have been erroneously taught. When somebody say that Christianity is a battle, yes, sister, Christianity is a full battle. Yes. But, but people say that Christianity is not battle. Why, Mama Vic? Why, why, why do you think that people say that Christianity, you need not to do anything. It's just believe in what Jesus has done. Because they don't believe it. Ah. No, we have to work for even our salvation. We have to work work out for it. Mm -hmm. You can you can you can lose your salvation if you don't work it work it out. Mm -hmm. We can and lose then, it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can lose our salvation. Yeah. It, okay, that love. I think the book of uh, Philippians two twelve says that um, work out your salvation with trembling and fear. Mm. So why would you work out your salvation with fear? That means if, if there is no if you can't lose it mm. so that's an that's an that's an every uh, that's a confirmation that we can lose our salvation mm. they proving that um once saved for us about saved it's not the gospel it's not the bible it's nothing it's not mm. the for the pit of hell you can lose it yeah all right sister jack also said that because satan is fighting us always mm. why do you think that sister jack <laughs> If you were here, I would have put you all kind of question onto you. Why are you lying there? Come back and join us on the on the Zoom. <laughs> Why do we... <laughs> I'm just joking, sister. I know you can't join us for some reason. Why do you think that Satan is fighting us all the time? Why? Why this battle? Because we are not, we are not his children. Because we are not his children. That is the answer. Jesus said that you are not of this world. That is why the world hates you. <laughs> if you have this word, the world will never hate you. The reason why Satan is fighting us, he hates us. Mm. I also think the reason he's fighting believers is because you see the glories that God wants to give to believers. You see the glory. Because he, he has been to heaven, he knows what it is in heaven. Mm. And because God took it out from him, he's very furious. Mm. It's one of the words revenge. The revenge. Revenge. Deny us because he lost it. He wants us to lose it as well. Mm. You know? He knows what he has lost. Mm -hmm. And he knows what humanity are going to get. Because yes. he hates mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. And yes. we are not of his image. I love it. God, God bless you, Sister Jack. He said, because we carry the image of Christ. Mm -hmm. We don't represent him. Yeah. So long as we don't reflect on his image, he hates that. Mm -hmm. He wants to see us with tattoos. He wants to see us with rings. You see, Mr. T. He wants to see us with that kind of haircut. Oh, gone on the day we taught that all these people were Christians. Because they are confessing Christianity. We can't live that double life. Ring all over our body. Chains all over our neck. And that is the re-sign of the devil. 
thought that all these people were Christians. Tattoo, chain, nose, we have rings and all these things. Because we don't have the image and we don't represent him. Sister Equia said because he didn't get the second chance that man had. The reason why he hates us. He couldn't get a second chance. Oh my God. You and me, we don't know anything in this contest. Satan didn't get a chance that you and me we have. If you know what he lost, and if we know what Satan is fighting us not to get, Christianity will become a war every day. Another war of fighting and rebuking Satan. No, 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 no. The war of accepting the will of God for your life. Hallelujah. Are you there, somebody? Yes, sir. This week I was rebuked by one of our group that I, 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 need, to allow, I need to allow you to talk sometimes. So please, I want you to talk. If you don't talk, I have to talk. <laughs> yes, you were talking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Sister Lucre, Sister Blessing, I want to hear you, Sister Farida. Those it's of Mama you, <laughs> Mama Lucy is not yet in. The people who are online are really they are they are, they are giving their comments. No, but this is your moment. <laughs> Sorry, this is your moment. We are listening. To no, 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 no. You can't. You can't. <laughs> I want you to talk to you. <laughs> All right, my master, let's go then. We need to contend endlessly for our faith. Christianity is not sugar, sugar, sugar. It's not honey, 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 honey. Christianity is a fight. We need to fight. And those who don't want to fight, because Jesus Christ, the sacrifice that he gave us, he fought for that sacrifice. Jesus did not become Jesus just like that. He has to fight to win the battle. All right. Verse 4, please. Please, I read from verse 4. For there are certain men crept in non ways who were before of old ordained to this con condemnation, ungodly men, Turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. Did you hear that? There are people. Okay. <laughs> Sister Juliet is now on phone, on online. No, don't worry. But you can still bring your comments down here. <laughs> there are certain men who have crept into. <laughs> Who have crept into the vineyard. They are wrong people. He said in the time past they had been condemned. They were walking in condemnation. Mm -hmm. It's not bread and butter. Yes, sister. There were certain men in the time past. They were walking in condemnation. But now they have come into the kingdom. And they are making Christianity of no value. <laughs> what does it mean? Who are those people? Who are those people who have entered into the ministry and reducing the name of Jesus into anything else? What do we call them? Prosperity gospel ministers. The prosperity ones. False prophets. False prophets. Yeah. The false <laughs> prophets. Wow, I like your background picture now. False Christians as well. False Christians. Yes, false Christians. False Christians. Uh huh. Demon in human disguise. Demon in human disguise. Which is calling themselves prophets. Wow. Mama Sylvia, God bless you, darling. Wow. There are some goats in the church. You know, the Bible says that we have sheep and goats. We have sheep and goats. And this one, they are not sheep. They are goats. They are goats. How can we identify these ones? How can we identify them? By their fruits. The way they talk. Yeah. Okay, gradually. Somebody <laughs> say about their fruits. And when you say the fruits, Sister Blessing said the way they talk, uh-huh. 
the friends they move with the people the companion the group that they set up themselves with uh huh the, the way they interpret the Bible. The way they interpret the Bible. Mama Sylvia, you've just joined but I want you to know that your comment is also needed. You can come in and comment. We are talking about how can we identify the fake people in the church today. Some of them in their tie. Don't judge me because of my tie. Some of them in the clerical. Yeah, they are dressing as well. They, they, they are dressing show. How can we see the addressing? In which way? The way they dress, you know, uh, as a they wear chains, rings. Aha. Uh -huh. okay. They are the ones say forever say, Sister Kriya said that. One say forever save preachers. They wear chains, yeah. all kind of uh, neck, uh, what do you call it, ornaments all over their body. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. It doesn't matter, preachers. Yes. It doesn't God matter. Go loose at the hearts. Don't mind them. Go loose at the hearts. Uh huh. Yeah. One of the ways I think uh, you can also identify is that they, they don't promote righteousness. They don't promote righteousness. They promote um, earthly riches. They promote earthly riches. That, that makes you um, comfortable, earthly, earthly, earthly minded. Uh huh. Because and the and the dressing, you still have some who have dressed decently. Mm -hmm. They may not be wearing chains or all these things, or they may not be dressing big, but they are still not of God. Mm. Like those who have been to school, but they've not been called by God. Mm. And so their messages is not the one. That points you to heaven or makes you desire heaven. Mm. It's all earthly, earthly mm. success. Mm. It's not a mm. message of righteousness. Mm. By their fruits, the works of flesh manifesting in their lives, is the queer said. By their Come again, sister. I will add also. Be, I will add the evil faiths, those who compromise with the world. They, you know, they compromise. Church, they dress all way, they don't have a chance, but then when they go out of the church and then they put you know, all these things back at ah. school or any class. So ah. You see pride in them. Sister Kuya said that they bleach their skin. How can a man of God bleach his skin? Sister Esther, please. Yes, Pastor, please. Um, what mommy said. It's very true. There are some who don't do all those things. But within their heart, I know one man, he preaches about holiness. So without the Holy Spirit helping you, you will never know. Yes. Physically, you might see that this person is very good, how he dresses, very decent. Yeah. Yeah. About what mommy said. So sometimes it also takes the Holy Spirit to open your eyes for you to know that this person doesn't carry the power of God. Mm. He's using another power. So sometimes we, we shouldn't be, or we shouldn't look outward, but inward as the Holy Spirit will lead us as well. Amen. 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 Well, I want us to use Auntie, Sister, Mommy, Vic. Uh, yeah. So... I don't want you to refer my wife as mommy. She's yeah, a young lady. Love. Just call me love. <laughs> ah, okay. Neither do I. Not, neither do I want the title daddy. I don't want. Don't we are brothers and sisters. I call your wife sometimes mommy because it's a pastor's wife. I respect her, not the age. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> honestly, honestly. sister would do. Yeah. 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 Sister will do, yeah. I'll, I'll prefer Pastor, to are you, are you are you running away from the age or something? <laughs> no, not that. We are no. we are not running away from age. But I'm, we are I'm all sisters and brothers in front of Christ. Mama. Okay, yeah. I accept it. I accept it, but I, I want us to do with that kind of former, level, exactly. former relationship. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I respect I'll call you Mama Vic because I give you the due respect. Because you are uh, of age, you can be my auntie. You cannot be my mommy, but you're my auntie. Yeah, that way. <laughs> my cousins. I have older. <laughs> I have cousins who, who could be my mommy as well. Exactly. One of our first cousins. They are even the, the same age as my mommy. <laughs> All right. Because in heaven, they call everybody brother, sister, and sister. Exactly, exactly. Amen. If you say 
is so we have to get right. now on earth. Let's bless them by the way, yeah. anyway. Yeah, your brethren. God bless you. Amen. I was not talking to you, Mama Vic. I was talking to Sister mm -hmm. Esther. Sister we Esther. Just, we are just we are we are team now. We are just exactly. All sisters. All of us. <laughs> Amen. Let's flow. So when I make a mistake, you can re rebuke me. You don't put that kind of. Yeah, yeah. The reason yeah. why that is that is also another level of the fake mm -hmm. ministers. You see, they mm -hmm. put a kind of uh, what do you call it? Uh. A platform for themselves they can be corrected they put themselves come again sister protocol they put some kind of protocol how dare you call me brother Gabriel I am Bishop <laughs> you God have mercy with your Bishop <laughs> they contend fake minister contend against holiness preachers they fight against holiness preachers they are fake and he said that they have turned the gospel of righteousness into the gospel of condemnation. They are ungodly men, turning the grace of God into lasciviousness. They've reduced the grace into earthly gratification, temporal satisfaction, which will give us eternal pains. Let us be careful of those men. They you give us flattering words. Many today are claiming that they've been to heaven and hell. I don't care. You can go there back if you want. But I'm not going with you. Let us be very careful. Because their advert is promoting themselves. Not promoting Christ. They don't promote Christ. They promote their church. They promote their ministry. They promote themselves. But holiness, righteousness, and truth, they fight against it. They hate brothers understanding the true word of God. For you to know the truth and be set free, no. Because they are enemies to the truth. Amen. Amen. Sister Esther, let's go to verse 5. Uh, I, want, well, I want your husband to talk. Is he back? <laughs> yes, please. Wow. Yes, but... Tell him today. I want to hear his voice. Okay, I'll tell him. <laughs> Verse 5. Verse 5. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not. What does it mean, sister? What does it mean? God saved some people from East, uh, Egypt, mm. but he destroyed them later. Mm. What does it mean? One save, forever save mm. is yeah, error. Mm. God delivered them from Egypt, but mm. they couldn't make the promised land. Not that they couldn't make the promised land because God didn't want to take them there. They were filthy, they were stinking. And God said, none of you will reach there. Mm. It doesn't mean that all of them who couldn't reach there make hell. But the percentage of them that God saved them were very, very, very few. Mm. The percentage were very, very few. So one say forever save is dangerous. Salvation has nothing to do with work. It's dangerous teachings. Let us be very careful. We need to contend for the faith. We need to contend. Why do you think that God destroyed them on the wilderness? Pastor, please. Um, I want to contribute. Okay, go ahead, Alan. I think it was because of their hardened hearts. Mm -hmm. Because God asked them to go and check the land. So that they can go and possess it as he promised their father Abraham. Mm -hmm. so they went and then came back and then they, they, they said the people were so huge that they can't fight. And meanwhile, forgetting that the Lord has given the land to them. So it was their duty to just go. Just go and then survey it and come back and go and possess it. Mm. So only um, Joshua and Caleb that stood firm and said, 
with God, we can do, yes, we can, we can possess the land. So I think somehow it was the hardening of their hearts, yes. not believing the Lord that rescued them from the land of Egypt. So that is my contribution. That is, that is exactly what it is. They were disobedient to God. They were disobedient in hardening their heart to follow the counsel of God. And God doesn't entertain any person that wouldn't like to walk with him in accordance with his will for their life. So God destroy all of them. So don't let us think that salvation is being delivered from sin here on earth. But salvation is getting you into the promised land. Among all the people that were taken out of Egypt, the Bible says that how many people entered there? Yes. Two, only two of them. Two. Caleb and Joshua. Mm. All of them that were taken, they died. But their children, children enter into the promised land. You can imagine. <laughs> millions of people were taken out of the promised land. But only two reached there for only 40 years. Not long, not, not long, long ago. Not 400 years. For only 40 years. Only 40 years. Only two could walk with God for 40 years. Faithfully and in holy manner. That is serious. So when people, God bless you sister. Sister Ikea said too. When people say that salvation, going to heaven is so easy. Yes, many are called, but few will be able to make themselves available for God's choice. Many can be delivered, but just few will be able to make it. And I pray that you will make yourself available for those who want to make it. Hallelujah. Mm. Contribution. Contribution, yes, darling. Yeah, and um, what I also want to contribute is that, oh, okay, sorry. Uh, oh, don't worry. Uh, what I want to contribute is that, in fact, uh, this is a very uh, important verse in the sense that um, many people think that because they are Christians, they are going to church, they are praying all night. It's it's a it's a it's a, it's a certificate for for heaven, mm. but it's not true at all. Mm. All our gen, looking at the Israelites from the time they were taken from from Egypt mm -hmm. to the time they were they were they were they they had to enter the promised land was a time of the testing time mm. and the time that God wanted to bring them to agree with Him. So I would say righteousness is to, is, is to be in agreement with God. Mm. So it was a time for them to accept the ways of God and live the godly life God was expecting from them. Uh -huh. Yeah, but then. Um, they were so much used to their past life, the Egyptian lifestyle, what they have seen, what they have experienced. Mm -hmm. So it was hard for them to accept the ways of God, mm. which demands some sort of discipline. Mm. So they didn't really are willing to conform into God's, God's image. Mm. Now, if God destroyed them, then we have to know that we will not be exempted if we also fail. That is the point. Because um, God, God, the fairness of God demands that he treats all people equal. equal. So if he treated the, the Israelites in that manner, then there is no way by which you will also be let in heaven if we if we err and we fail to we fail to meet the standard. If you read Rachel without blemish, that when when we are able to meet uh, we have we are able to meet that expectation, then can we be qualified for heaven? So this is a challenge to all of us that uh, uh, the things that we do as Christians is not uh, a, a guarantee that we are heaven candidates. We need to work out our salvation for every now and then until we, we are God takes us to heaven. Amen. Amen. There is no time. That's fine. All right. Okay. It's going on. Beloved, one thing that we need to understand that God is not respect of a person. And God who made a covenant with us his covenant with us is bound to be fulfilled prolong as we are willing to walk with him in obedience and in righteous manner hallelujah Amen. all right so continue sister please continue from verse six yes 
And the angels, which kept not their first estates, but left their own habitation, he had reserved in everlasting chains and the darkness unto the judgment of the great day. What does it mean then? The angels who couldn't keep their habitation. Fallen angels. The fallen angels. There are many of them. There are many of them. Basically, the few angels that we hear their name every now and then is Michael and Gabriel. <laughs> Some people are talking about Raphael and other people. Their names are not important to us. But the works that they do are very, very essential to us. We don't know them. There are many thousands of them who fell. James said that they were cast out of heaven and they have been kept for a day of judgment. Why? <laughs> Why? As I it was because they didn't keep their ha habitation as Brother Jude was saying. Mm. They came into this world for a purpose, but they couldn't do it. But they fell in love with the women on earth. And then they fornicated with them. So God has chained them in darkness for judgment day. So that was their mistake. So they did so many wicked things. Those who fell with uh, Satan. Those who fell with Satan. They have been chained. And when they came here on earth. They also started doing all kind of abominable things that Bible doesn't or God doesn't endorse. Alright? So if angels, God shall judge them. Yes. They are waiting for the judgment of God. They are waiting for the judgment of God. Their judgments are on the way coming. Beloved, let us be very, very careful. For those people that say that one saved forever saved. If God destroyed the angels, he couldn't keep them in heaven. <laughs> angels weren't on earth, they were in heaven. They rebelled against God and God drove them from heaven. Let us be very careful. Continue, sister. Please, verse 7. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Uh huh. Let me now call somebody to explain this one. Love, how do you understand this part? Which one? Verse 7. Sister Jill, thank you, sister. God bless you for joining us. Okay, who can explain the verse 7? Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities above them in the manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set for an example suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Let me kind of try oh, to explain a little. <laughs> when did you come? Uh, about like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> wow. All right, then come in then. All right, you know, a great number of angels were not pleased with the stations God alluded to them. Mm -hmm. You know, pride was the main and direct cause of normal, you know, or occasion of their, of their fall. Mm. And the fallen angels are kept to the judgment of the great day, mm -hmm. you know, so... And shall, you know, fallen men escape it? No, I'm not sure. Shall, Surely not. I like the word. Surely shall not. fallen men escape it? And the answer Surely is not. no. Mm. Yeah. You know, consider this in due time. The destruction of Sodom is a loud warning to all. Mm -hmm. To take heed of, you know, and just, you know, flee from freshly lust, that war against the soul. Mm. Mm. Exactly. Mm. That I is what I'm the able question. to. Will the fallen men escape the same judgment 
that a fallen angel didn't escape? <laughs> that is a question I believe every one of us must try to answer. God is a God of justice. Mm -hmm. He's impartial God. He is passionate, but he is not partiality. So Christian must be very, very careful, or people on this earth must be very, very careful, considering how to contend for the faith at all times. God bless you, darling. Amen. Mm. Thank you. All right. So let's carry on then. The verse number eight. Eight. Uh huh. Likewise. Also, these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. Hmm. So now he's talking about the false prophets. Likewise, also, these fake men that have entered into... Today, I think somebody sent something on the... Is it WhatsApp? <laughs> It was uh, it's one of these chemicals that a person was giving to somebody to drink in the church. So it was a chemical. <laughs> Is it the one with the um, um, kerosene or so? No, the kerosene one, but this one, I think I will find it. I will send it to you on WhatsApp, oh, okay. and you, you, you will see oh, okay. it. It's a chemical. Okay. People can't drink water any longer because the Bible said that you drink deadly poison that you do you no harm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God have mercy. These filthy dreamers defy the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. As Sister Equia said earlier on, they fight against foul. What do you mean by foul, sister? They fight against righteousness, madness, temptation to their domination. Mm. They fight against anything that portrays holiness and righteousness. They foul the atmosphere of the glory of God with filthy things. Huh? Calling themselves names, giving people. Whenever you go to church and you see pastors giving people something to drink at the church, straight away you see their covenants. Mm. They do bizarre things that is not written in the scripture. Mm. In the Bible, some those things were not practiced. Why is it in our time is being practiced? Let us be very careful. I know you are me. By the grace of God, God has brought us to the truth. Amen. All these teachings we are doing for people who are looking for the shortcut Christianity. Hmm. But basically, the shortcut Christianity is to live holy life. Hmm. That is the simplest way. Because there is nothing in us that belongs to him that he can take. Hmm. Satan, the Lord is saying something. He says, Satan can take only what belongs to him in our life from us. Mm. Last night, I think a thief broke into my wife's car. Maybe he was searching for money, but we don't leave money in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knew what they were looking for. The car was low, but they managed to get in. Laugh said when she wake up, somebody had broken into her car. But she, the person couldn't find anything. <laughs> Satan can take what only belongs to him from us when he visits us. Therefore, let us be very, very careful. The inventors of evil, they invent this dreamers, all that they are inventing, it's making God to become evil. Letting God to look like evil person. May God forgive them then. Verse 9. Verse 9. Verse 9. Yet Michael the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, 
does not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, the Lord rebuke thee. What does it mean here? Sister Babs, you're welcome. I've been waiting for you. Where have you been? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> I'm here now, Pastor. I'm I'm happy that you are here today. I have all my sisters. Sister Juliet, <laughs> you were you were you were communicating very well. Now you go back to Zoom and you can't talk again. Let me hear you. What does it mean? <laughs> the verse uh, nine. Sister Barbara and Sister Julia, one of you should comment that. Sister Barbara, do you have your Bible already in your hands? Yes, Pastor. Please read the verse nine and comment it for me. Okay. Yet Michael the archangel. When contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, does not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, The Lord will build thee. Mm. Um, amen. Um, what I understand here is about, at, about Moses' um, body, dead body, that they were arguing that who um, this body is for me and that. Instead, I, um, Michael has got all the time, you know, he's got all the power to say anything that he wants, but he didn't. Mm. In other words, um, some people these days curses. Mm -hmm. It's like that. But Michael did not do that. Instead, he rebuked Satan with the name of the Lord. Mm. So when you get a situation like this, that the devil is contending with us. Uh, there's no need to be cursing and all, saying all these things, but we just have to rebuke him in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Who disagree? Okay, Sister Juliet. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> hey, 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 please. <laughs> what I understand is, you know, our power belongs to Jesus, mm -hmm. and we have to give his because he is our master and our savior. Mm. We have to give him all his respect. So. In everything that we do, we have to use his name to do it. So um, everything, we have to leave everything for God. But not for us to say things on our own. We have no power to say that. Mm. Amen. Because if you have the spirit of humility, you will not do that. Mm. You understand? So um, this is what means to understand. Like the way Sister Barbara was saying, Angel Michael had power to, to rebuke Satan, to scatter him back. His chef, his master is there. He has to depend on his master's authority. Not he himself. He will use his own authority to do what he wants. Amen. So that's what men of God, we're supposed to let Jesus do everything. We're supposed to depend on Jesus to yes. do everything. But for us not to do, like recently, sorry to say, when I heard this apostle, um, that pastor said, my heart don't even like him. Don't forgive me. But my story does not connect to me. But the way he talks, he talks very bad. It's not this. How can you even be saying that uh, when Fulani man come to your church, they should cut off his head? Oh, when, right. And in saying that, um, the Moses, um, um, David killed Goliath. Do you know why kill. David killed Goliath? Exactly. It's God Himself who gave him order to go and kill exactly. Goliath. Exactly. Not for you, human being, to take your own authority to mm. kill man. Mm. Mm -hmm. Vengeance is the Lord. And do you know why all these things are happening? It's because of your wickedness, man's wicked heart, mm -hmm. that God has let His wrath come on us. And Amen. the prick, the prick that He said in the in the Old Testament that He put it on the Israel, that's what has come on to us. Mm. That's why we are facing all those things. Amen. So um, we can all use our own power to do everything. All power belongs to Jesus. That's Amen. That's why I want you people to talk because you got you got a power. Let me read what Abel Kriya said. Sister Kriya said, what I can say is angels don't have the power to use the name of Jesus, but humanity have it. Man has it. Mm -hmm. Therefore, that angel couldn't rebuke that Satan. He did not have the right to use the name of Jesus. But we human beings, we have the right. Oh, what a powerful word. Mm. Amen. Do you know what we have? That's very true. Amen. Very, very true. Amen. 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 Okay, so like like Sister Sister Lucris, please, your hands is up, my dear. Yes, um, I want to add just about this verse. I agree with Sister Julieta, but I disagree a little bit with Sister Barbara, the first um uh, the first opinion because when I when I read it, okay, uh, I was thinking in a different way, especially when it comes to prayer. We know in Matthew it says that 
God has given us the power to walk over scorpion and serpent and every power of darkness. Yeah. Uh-huh. But then he didn't say he's got the power to walk over Satan. He said over power of darkness, like um, the demons and all that. So I, I was when I read it, I thought that the fact that the angel said, "May the Lord rebuke," because it's only Jesus that has got that power over Satan. We has got power over. Uh, the demons and all the little, but Satan himself, I think that's only Jesus that can deal with him. And we are not supposed to, you know, we, we don't have made that, that level of, you know, to rebuke him. And I guess that that's why the, uh, the, the angels say that. In actual so, fact. Normally, because in some of the prayers also, when we pray, I've noticed, I don't know whether that's the right, the right type of prayer. When people say, demon, I walk over you. Uh, you know, I kill you, or I'll, you know, I rebuke you. You know, people pray such prayers. Oh, Satan, you know, I, I push you away, or Satan, you know, go away. Satan, do that. But sometimes, do you have the power to talk to Satan, or it's only Jesus Himself? Mm. You know. Mm. So, so sometimes I, I wonder whether this is the type of prayer we're supposed to pray. You know, against um, against Satan, or because um, of the power of darkness, because. Um, some of the prayers don't get answered because of the way also we pray or we ask about yes. things. So I don't know whether that's the right type of prayer to say, all, Satan, no. you know, uh, I push you away, I rebuke you, or is, you know, the Lord rebuke you in my life because Jesus is the one, you know, mm. over everybody. He's got that power. So I don't know whether that's another point. If you can explain to us how to pray over this, you know, uh, spiritual warfare, how to pray against this type of prayer because a lot of people say, you know, I've heard that even in songs, you know, uh, Satan will walk over you, Satan, you know, things like that. You know, we talk about the name of Satan. I don't know why we even glorify Satan most of the time in this song and prayer. Instead, so, of, instead of glorifying Jesus and leaving Satan yes. alone. Yes, so also- I guess maybe sometimes, sometimes he laughs. He said, you don't have the power to do it. You know, maybe over witches and wizards, but on me, it's only Jesus that can rebuke me. Maybe you... Uh, you know, he still don't he don't have the power yet. Or so we we have been given power in the name of Jesus to destroy the works of the devil. Yes, the works, but not himself, because a lot of people. Yes. Say, okay, the devil yes. Works. yes. All his works we can destroy, but yes. Satan himself we can't destroy him. Exactly. Only Maybe Jesus that's what can destroy say. Satan. Yeah. yeah. We have yeah. been given power in the name of Jesus to destroy the works of Satan. That mm-hmm. is that is that's right. And secondly, yeah. you and me, we can fight against Satan at any time because he's fighting us, but only in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. He is our backing. Okay. The reason why Satan is coming is not because of us, it's the Christ in us, which is the hope of glory in us, which is mm-hmm. his fighting against. Okay. Yes, and he wants to quench it up. He wants to quench the, the fire. He wants to take us out of the hands of God and bring us. But we can resist him. Yes, sister. Akia. We can resist the devil. So, mm-hmm. yes. that was what the angel was doing. He was resisting him. May the Lord rebuke you. I resist you out of my life. Mind you that angel Michael is the warrior that fought Satan and drove him out of the, out of, the, out of, the uh, of heaven. Of heaven. But this time I ran, I think they were in the room that Mark Hill cannot stand him. They were in the atmosphere. The reason was this. The reason was this. The reason that Moses couldn't reach the promised land was he disobeyed God. He rebelled against God at Mount Maribah. Or Morib. Where God told him to speak into the rock and he struck the rock. <laughs> and God said, you have sinned against me and because of that, you are not going to go into the promised land. So this time around, Satan finds something in the body of Moses. Hey, we got you. That body belongs to us. He is our power. I learned there was a Pentecost preacher that died somewhere in Cape Coast or somewhere in Accra. And the church were waiting to do 
the barrier, everything. After they have finished the last ceremony, all of a sudden they saw some macho guys who jump in. And they said that pastor was one of their members. The secret society. So the, 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 the dead body belongs to them. Mm. And everybody was standing there. Who is going to contend? Who fight you? Beat you? He is our body. Mm. This is the court, yeah. court. Where we have all this evidence show that he is our body. Look, we have this mark. He had the same mark. We have this. He has it. So it's one of us. So in this case, who can contend? I believe that that was how the situation was. The mark here yeah. said, well... This time, it is only the blood of Jesus that can rebuke you. Because the blood has died for him. And therefore, you dare not venture here. May the blood of Jesus. Therefore, he said, may the Lord rebuke you now. Yeah, so, um, Sister Lucris, what you said and what Sister uh, uh, Barbara said is the same. But just a matter of uh understanding that the power to resist the enemy is in our righteousness and in our submission to to god, to god. first second corinthians 10 is it 5 10 it said after our obedience has become perfect then we can bring into justice all disobedience so so long as we Ourselves are obedient, are incomplete. Satan is accused of the brethren. Yes, he will accuse us before God. And he was accusing the dead body. And thirdly, he wanted not that the dead body of Moses should be buried. That he wanted the body of David to be found. That they will put a monument where people will go and worship the dead body of Moses. And God saw all these things and said, no, that dead body must be kept in the place. So the angels took the body and buried it someplace. So even Moses is waiting for resurrection. Mm. Amen. Can we bring James chapter 5? Yes, please. Read it for us. Mm. My Bible is... My all right. James chapter Did 5, verse... When he said um, um, the righteous prayer availed, the, 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 the first prayer. prayer of a righteous man, man available. James chapter 5. Verse 8. Verse 8. I read it. Be also patient. 18. 18, sorry. And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth brought forth her fruits. Yes, verse 17. Elia was a man subject to like passion as we are. He prayed earnestly that it might not rain, and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. Verse 18. And he prayed again, and even heaven gave rain, and the air brought forth. Brethren, if any one of you do err for the truth, from truth and one convert him let him know that he which is converted a sinner it's 15 and the prayer of faith and the prayer of faith shall be save the sick yes and the lord shall raise him up and if he have committed any sin they shall be forgiven him confess your faults one another and pray one for another that ye may be healed mm -hmm. The effective and the fervent prayer of the righteous man availeth much. The uh -huh. So, Pastor, what you are saying, it talks about this. Um, you see, if um, we live a holy life, yes. and not, when we pray, Satan will submit. Exactly. When we speak, Satan will submit everything. Yes. So, um, it's like, but when we live in sin, there is nothing that we do that Satan can even stand mm. us. So, like, you know, because we were explaining, you were explaining, this quotation came to my head. That's mm. why I was... Mm. God bless you. Yeah. Basically, today, my focus was we, I wanted us to deal with why our prayers are not being answered. The secret of prayers. That was where, all of a sudden, the Lord took me to this direction that talk about this thing. And you see, the same thing is coming back. Mm. We are going to do that, God's will, maybe Sunday. Mm. 
the reason why our prayer, the secret of our prayer life, and the whole secret is obedience to the holy, righteous, truth, nature. When we live that life, no weapon of the enemy formed against us shall prosper. Amen. Yeah, contribution. Amen. Amen. Uh, what I wanted to contribute is the uh, the fact that the, about what happens to us when we pass away. Now, the fact that there was a contention over the body of Moses is also an evidence that our body will be will be will be tested, or the, the, it will be inspected for fault. Satan will come and see what is in us before we, we, we will be allowed to take into heaven. Because uh, as it happened to Moses, so so will we also pass through. And the only way by which we can pass the test is righteousness. There is a lady from France who had a, who had an encounter. He passed. She passed away literally, and then she heard clearly the angels, the, the angels of God and the angels of the enemy discussing over over, over her lifestyle. Mm. And then they were they were discussing who owns the body. Mm. And the, the the angels of the, the of God were saying, "Well, she did this." And then the enemy was also saying, well, this is what she did. Mm. And they were revealing all the mistakes that she has done. Mm. Proving that she's not qualified to be in heaven. Mm. She said she was just there. I mean, she was there as a soul, but she was hearing all the mm. conversation mm. that was going on. Mm. But then eventually, she was disqualified from heaven. Mm. She, they had a lot of things in common, Arguments. In common with her, which mm. were, would belong to Satan. Mm -hmm. Even as she was talking, she was she still had extensions on her head. Straight away. You know? So she was taken to the death, the, mm. the seventh level in hell. She said she was being taken to so many places, but then she went to death where she was being raped over and over and over again as her punishment. Mm. And then her grandma was praying for her. And then the Lord had mercy and then restored her back. So these are the evidence that when, when we die, Satan will come and inspect our body to see our lifestyle, what we did, whether we, there is a, 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 something that belongs to him. Mm. That, that 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 would disqualify us. Mm. God would give him that chance to do it. He has the right to exactly. do so because he's accused of the brethren. Yeah. So anything that that he finds in a, in a, a, together, mm. which, which is which identifies us together with him, he's going to claim responsibility of the soul of that person. Mm. And this is why righteousness is so important. That our it's only righteousness and holiness that rebukes the enemy. That is it. So when when we live a righteous lifestyle, like he said, Julius just said. It rebukes the enemy. Mm -hmm. We may not even have to open our we mouth. We don't need to. But when our lifestyle agrees with God, we don't need to. Our the righteousness itself will rebuke the enemy on our behalf. Amen. God bless you, darling. Please, if I live a holy life, I don't. I don't need to shout when I'm praying. In the name of Jesus, yekala ba 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 ba. I don't need to. If I live a holy life, even my tears will speak for me. Speak on your behalf, Those pastors who normally pray so loud, you know, in our language, we call them Wayo Sofo. Wayo. Well, you see, sometimes we think by adding strength, I mean, sometimes after you have, there's been a while actually that I feel so tired. There's been a while. Because anything that we do, the sweat coming in means that it is flesh. When we walk in the spirit, we don't sweat. Jesus Christ raised up the devil. Did he sweat? He cast out the devil. Did he sweat? No. But at the last days, in Matthew chapter 26, the Bible says that their sweat were gushing out of his body like a blood. Why? Because he was contending with the will of the Father against his will. When the Holy Spirit led him according to us, the Bible said that how God anointed Jesus Christ with power, going out doing good. He didn't sweat when the Holy Spirit was leading his life. But in Gethsemane, the Bible said that the Spirit left him. And he went and prayed. And the, the sweat was dropping like a blood. Mm. And he said, Father, I need your strength. Why have you left me alone? The Holy Spirit didn't go to the cross with him because sin were coming. And the Holy Spirit said, no, no, no. After this one, you, you face it alone, no. I'm not coming with you. Beloved. The Lord said, the prince of this world is coming, but he has nothing in me. Yes, John chapter number 
14 verse 30 31 when satan find nothing in us there is no sweat so long as there is nothing that belongs to satan in us we did not we need not to shout i believe the church need to be taught i'm not saying that you need not to fight uh, uh, fast but the moment we fast we Humble ourselves for God to do His will. If you and me are willing to walk in holiness, righteousness, and truth, there are so many labor that we are laboring in Christianity that will stop. The shouting and the yelling will stop. Have you seen any policeman shouting and yelling on people? They are the police people who don't know the authority that they have. Even Africa. When a policeman who knows his rights lift up his hand, the car must stop. And the driver will be shaking inside. Oh my God, these people have not, they are going to delay me. They are going to, they know that they are going to take your money. They are under authority. But if they don't have their uniform, you can walk away, you can hit them, you can beat them, you can push them. But so long as they have authority, you dare not to touch them. That is how Christianity is. When we graft the authority that Christ has given to us, holiness, righteousness, and truth, the shouting, the yelling, the spitting, the pushing, uh, <laughs> the convincing, and the lying, they will all stop. Oh, Sister the Esther. Jumping. Sorry, Sister Ligris. The, the dancing. Jumping, they're jumping, <laughs> they're jumping, and also pushing chairs, Push, oh, no. pushing the chairs here and there. My God, <laughs> what a, what has prayer got to do with pushing chairs? And then in in the in the church, you see them pushing the chair. Ah, la, 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 la. Oh, it's sad. It's sad. Can you laugh? It's sad. It's it's sad. It's very sad. The <laughs> same people. Everybody way of style of praying. <laughs> yeah, I was saying that it's everybody's stay way of style of praying, you know. Sometimes when yeah. the Holy Spirit comes on you, no. Sometimes when the Holy Spirit comes on you, sometimes when there's a fire burning in you, you have the power to pray. You understand? So sometimes everybody has this way of moving in prayer. So me, when I see somebody shaking their chair or whatever it is, I don't see that it's wrong. Mm -hmm. I know that maybe the Holy Spirit is moving in, in a way for him to pray. So me, I don't see something wrong with that. All right. But you know what? With me, with me, when I saw him pushing the chair, that me too. Depends, it depends what you I see don't in the person. If the person is not living a holy life and is behaving like that, you can have that kind of motive for the person. But if you see that the person is praying and you see that you don't see anything wrong with that person's life, me, I don't see anything wrong. But on the day of John the Baptist, we must. I always want to put this quotation: "Violent taking word by force," because. Everything must be violent, you understand, when it comes to praying, like, in a way, because essentially we Africans, fine, we are living in a holy and a righteous life, but sometimes there are some battles that we are fighting that Satan does not want our salvation to be fulfilled. So whatever he would do, you know, so we too, we have to find in a way to, 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 to pray. So that we, we should not be, um, this is fine, there are some people that they have their way of praying, but me like this, I have my way of praying that no, I must I must be, be, be serious because where I'm coming from, you know, there are stools, there are there are idols, there are this thing. I don't have to joke. Where I was born, that's where witches take uh, this thing. They are um, they are meeting. That's where the whole bitch, that's where witches go and take their meetings. Just imagine I was born in a hospital there. So just imagine they are stealing people's stars and all this. And where I came from, I came from Tepa, and that place is full of witches. My family come from uh, um, royal, the sin, they, they share liberation and all the sin. Fine, I'm living a holy life, but there are some things that is not complete in my life that I have to pray at for Jesus to break all the shackles. As I'm living in a holy life, it's little by little that God is going to help me. So sometimes if I'm praying, if somebody is praying in a, in a different way, so he's, he knows his motive, why he's praying that way. So yeah, that's with that one, with that one it's, it's, it's really true of what you are saying. But yeah. if, how about how about those ones that uh, you know normally pray and they say I want some people to pray pray with your bullet pray. How about no, those ones? No, sometimes, sometimes you know, sometimes some people's prayer is, <laughs> is like you know it's ignorant the way they pray. You know, it's so it's like their way of. But me, I will say that uh, you know points. when they join the after John the battle, we have to fight. 
violence, yeah. we must take it by force. Yes, so we agree. Everybody has a spray of light, light lineage, his lineage, where he's coming from. Like me, my lineage is very bad. So I have no, I, have, I don't have to joke. I have to let prayer be my past and parcel. Even Philippa said that oh, we should be praying. We should let prayer be our past and parcel. Prayer, 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 every minute, every second. Otherwise, yeah. Satan will not let us make it to heaven. So that yeah, one too is very important. No, the point that we are making. That we have to pray all the time, but then the pastor was talking about shouting and all these. Things. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's what I'm saying, that everybody has to pray, and there are some pastors, they do it in a way that is so ugly. You understand? They have, yeah. like, you see that those pastors, they are not fully, um, um, maturely, Jesus was commanding demons to come out, you understand? Yeah. In a very, in a, in a, in a very powerful way, but, these days, pastors, because of full of pride and this thing, that they behave like that, you understand? That yeah. they behave all this strange way. So when you look at them, you even get discouraged. But yeah. you that you understand the things of God in spiritually and physically, you know how your ways of fighting Satan, you understand? Or blocking his plans against your life and all this. The secret. Yes. And also, oh, okay. so just based on what you just said, I believe that once you're in Christ, you know, anything that has to do with your past life. Yes. So you cannot, you know, push, push you because you are in Christ and you are covered by the blood of Jesus. So whatever your family, your your ancestors have done, you shouldn't, I don't think you should be, okay, I need to keep on praying and praying. Yes, that's it. Because, because there are some covenants they have made that if you don't pray, that covenant is made. And on. you know, God is a God that you must speak. You must tell him, God, I have this problem. You must help me. If you don't talk, you are the one being problem. Yes, yes, if the problem is not broken once you are in Christ and you live the holy life, you shouldn't be a bit of prayer. <laughs> Even our restitution, if we yes. don't pray much and fast, like me, I have a very serious restitution that I don't have to joke. It's a restitution that you need to pray very hard because it's a very delicate, you understand? Mm. So just imagine yeah. if I don't pray and I sit down. And I'll, I'll for my side, I have to pray hard. No, sister, so, sister. You, 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 the, you already, you've been in the, the system, so you have cleared all the shackles of everything in your life. So sister, it's not like I'm Sister Juliet, <laughs> what we are saying is, I mean, when the Holy Spirit takes over, <laughs> human effort diminishes. Yes. As you are talking, I'm praying here. I'm groaning within my spirit. <laughs> yeah, I am groaning, but you can't hear my voice. I'm still praying. Yeah. yeah, and you can't be powerful in your prayer without shouting because Jesus, yes, he cast out demons, but he was powerful and he was also calm. So, the clarity here we want to do is there is so much flesh, waste of time and energy, Sister Ikria said. There is a bone shaking prayer. Yes, the bone shaking prayer. What is it? When my righteousness, my holiness, and my truthful life become perfect with the will of God. I know at the moment we think that we need to hide. I'm not disputing that. But what I'm saying is, if you are not living a righteous life, it is just a waste of time. Amen. Now, if you are living a righteous life, Santa, you need not to cry. You need not to shout. Zacchaeus climbed a tree. It was a form of a prayer. He climbed a tree. He didn't talk. He said, I want to see Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus passed by, lifted his heart, his head, and said, Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus, tonight the Lord is visiting your home. Zacchaeus didn't cry. He didn't shout. The woman with the issue of blood, she touched the hem of his garment. She didn't shout. And she get well. Our faith our obedience, our readiness to walk with God, they speak on our behalf more than the words can say. The woman with the alabaster box, she didn't shout. The Bible said that she cried. When I read that scripture, I asked myself, that woman might have good tears. To cry in such a way, I am, I'm a, I am a, a, a weeping prophet as well. I weep a lot. That's why every now and then when I'm preaching, you see my nose running like, <laughs> I weep a lot. <laughs> you see? And, and, and also with Hannah, you know, when Hannah went, uh, uh, yeah, exactly, when she prayed, she didn't make noise or do anything. You know what I'm saying? 
It was it's, normal. It Come, look, meek. It look as if we Africans have added our temperament, oh. our culture to everything. Eh? And Do you know what the last time my husband asked me? Mm. My husband said, Why is it that we the Africans when we pray we scream out so loud? But God, our Father in heaven, is, is a spirit, He's an unseen Father. We should take our time and call upon Him, and He'll answer because He's a spirit, He's everywhere. That's what you always say. say we scream too much. What's going on? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said, That's how we pray. Well, we think that is how we go with here. <laughs> we I have prayed that prayer before, <laughs> I've prayed that prayer in the past. And in the present, I do grow more within my spirit. I do groan. With a groaning that works. You can't hear the voice. You can't hear the words. Exactly. But the spirit of God. What we are trying to teach here is we are not condemning. Yeah, because somebody no. may choose to do it louder. No. Somebody may choose to do it louder because that is his life. All right. If you want to yeah. sweat, go ahead and sweat. Then go ahead. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you think that it's how God will listen to you, that is fair. Well, fine. Yes, because there, 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 there are some powers that, that sometimes there are some things that... Unless you um, shout, they will hear. They are deaf. They are deaf and dumb. So you need to shout so that they will hear. Fine. Fine. I don't believe it, that. You are, I love it. That you know, Satan has all types of demons, you know? If it's deaf and dumb, tell me, it's a, it's a demon that enters inside a human being. You know, recently I had a dream and the Lord was revealing some things to me, like he was making a sin. But somebody was lying down and he was making sin like this and he was the thing he was doing was like you know um um, do, um like creatures you understand different types of creatures and he said that you know this creature is for this sickness it's for this it's for that it's for that and i said okay this is what i saw yeah you understand so when i wake up i said ah so in anything in our life there is a spirit behind it there is our, a, our warfare so everybody has his way of praying like somebody like me you know I have, to, I have to, I have to, I have to pray, I have to pray. Because if I sit down, my spirit, my, my spirit will not be happy because yeah. my spirit will say, pray, my daughter, pray, 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 pray. don't, don't, don't be. But it's not like maybe I'm shouting with my whole voice, no. But you know, I pray aggressive prayers. Go ahead. Violent prayers, you understand? But don't go ahead. Like, deliverance prayers, you understand, to be delivered. Because even the time Peter was arrested, when Stephen, when they caught Stephen, they were relaxing. But when they caught Peter... The disciple writes that no, we need to pray. We need to pray hard so that Peter will come out. And when they started praying very hardly, Peter came out. So sometimes too, we need to do aggressive prayer and violence prayer. Too. That's what I believe too. But not too much shouting. Using your whole power and body to take them over. You understand? Or else the next day you have a problem with your voice and you need original that's heart. It, that's, it, that's what I'm saying. That's it. It's true. It, it's very true. You understand? It, it's like it's so long as you're living a righteous life, you are living obedience to the word of God. Yes. You are living your holy life. And you think that the demon that you are dealing with, they are deaf and dumb. Go ahead and shout at them. <laughs> I, because I listened to a revelation, the person, the Lord revealed a lot of demons to him. And when he came, he said, hey, it means we don't have to joke with prayer because there are powers fighting yes. us. Yes. As children of God that yes. we will never enter heaven. There Even are... there are some, our ancestors, they've made covenant that none of us will enter heaven. Mm. So mm. what we need to do is we don't have to joke. We have to be always praying for deliverance, mm. deliverance. If even if it was one man I used to watch his program in uh, in YouTube, he's a deaf. Maybe I don't know. So I think you know that man. What is his name? He's a deaf and numb. Oh, is it? But he's always got the Lord is always revealing the secret of the kingdom of darkness, what goes on. Oh. He too, he always he always show us the in spiritual realm what is happening. And even as men of God and the holiness pastors, how they are even battling them. They say fighting the wrong soldiers when they were supposed to fight demons. <clears throat> Christians are fighting their own brothers mm. and their own um, um, soldiers in Christ. Yeah, we call it needless casualties. We fight among ourselves. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And the, the, the past, so when I watch his things and he was he was saying, I said, this is true. Send this me the link. Crazy. I don't think I, I have his links. I, I, he, I think YouTube is his, his called fact. Most of his, his revelation, he makes it with amination. I'm, oh, okay, animation, like... animation. Uh, I'm gonna yes. watch it before. I'm so lazy to watch that animation and reading that under title. It's so <laughs> yeah, so and then and it's very interesting. Now, first, I'll say what is it, but later, I saw that the, the, the Lord is using it because he cannot talk. Oh, what okay. he's using is 
He's using his own to, to do right. those things. All right. God bless yeah. you for your contribution. Please, Amen. those of you, Sister uh, Akria is saying that good students this evening, I am happy. God bless mm -hmm. you all. Amen. So, Sister Amen. Akria is also with us. And that have been, I think that there have been few brothers and sisters who have joined us and following the teachings or the studies together. What we are trying is we are not condemning it, but what we are saying that we need to teach the people to walk in holiness and in righteousness. That's it. And put everything at its rightful place. Amen. There are somebody even praying over the food. In the name of Jesus, we cancel oh. this food. Oh, demons. The one I like was the way the guy was saying, I will sell your boat to pay. 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 Yeah. pay. pay. <laughs> we should say that. People have shot Satan in the past and Satan is so strong. That man is still going on. Because He's not dead. He's still there. <laughs> The life that we need to shoot is our life, our carnality, and our flesh. Mm. Beloved, that is the point. Contending for the faith, there is a warfare in. Mm. Yeah, there is spiritual warfare, as Sister Julia brought is in. Yeah. The spiritual okay. warfare, when you reach that level, you need to fight. Yeah. It's fasting, praying, holiness, righteousness. Fasting, praying, holiness, righteousness, and truth. Take every yeah. sin and then you rebuke Satan. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I resist you. I come against you. I, 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 I refuse your work. I dismantle your yes. purpose. Yes, yes. they it's are true. there. But the Bible says that we are waging war against principalities and powers. Yes, it's a warfare. Exactly. So, exactly. It's a warfare. So you have to stand your ground, stand your battle, and then keep fighting. Keep but fighting. what we are saying exactly. is these fake ministers. They don't teach the people what to do before they can engage in those warfare. Because when we go to Ephesians chapter number six, Ephesians chapter six gives us the prerequisites to fight the battle. I think we're going to go through all these things as the time is approaching. We have just 17 minutes to go. So we would take, uh, I think we came to verse number nine now. Number nine, we're going to pray. For the next 15 minutes, we're going to pray. If you want to shout, you can shout. Just close the, uh, the <laughs> mute your mark and shout. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you want to shout, shout. <laughs> if you want to shout. If you want to shout, you can shout. If you want to shout, you can shout. If you want to shout, you can shout. Uh, Juliet is saying where we come from, we almost come mm. from the same area. VA, sure. I mean, all the demons in Africa in Ghana, I think that is their capital. Me, I come from that area, and my father is from Kwao, and that is Kwao also is where their main blood sacrifice, sacrifice is. <laughs> so, left and right, I am inside, <laughs> but greater is he that is in me mm. than yeah. he that is in the world. Yeah, that yeah. I thought you recently you showed me a video that the um, an audio that the man was talking about the witchcraft thing. He even mentioned my my place. I said, "Hey, yeah, they I all mentioned. <laughs> I need to pray hard." But Chem, they all mentioned that place. I've I've stayed in that place before. And I was born in the hospital in that village, Bechem. Opposite that that is opposite the Presbyterian Church. The hospital is opposite. <laughs> Just, there is also a place in Kumasi where my brother's uh, friend comes from. I think they said it's called a um, in town. So they said that is also very sharp too. Darling, everywhere in Ghana is a, is a powerful. Not only in Ghana, <laughs> in Congo, where Sister uh, Lucris comes from, <laughs> there are demons. They are everywhere. burning everywhere. But the Bible says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. They consume them. The Amen. righteous run into it. The righteous it. run into it. They are saved. Yes, Lord. Amen. Only that's a righteous life. Only the righteous. Mm. Only the righteous. Mm. So tonight we want to cry unto God that our righteousness will reach a level that Satan can have no argument to stand against us. Sister Blessing, do you want to say mm -hmm. something? No. Oh. All right. I saw you have a mute your phone, uh, mic. Maybe you're ready to pray. Sometime in a, in a meeting like that, I allow people to, to talk because as people are talking, we share ideas, we share views. 
-hmm. sometimes the way we explain things somebody might take it to be different thing entirely so when people mm -hmm. bring how they see things we can iron things so please just let it flow and let us learn what we need to learn about sorry it. sorry everybody if i say anything to offend anybody please forgive nobody's me nobody's offended learning. We all learning. you came with your force we all learning. Mm. you yeah, came man. with your force don't worry exactly let the violence take it by force yes <laughs> lord <laughs> so now we're going to take <laughs> our salvation by force if the way we pray seriously if that is how we live our righteous life serious and i believe there'll be less problem in the christian life when we need something from god we do everything. We go left and right. You see people passing, uh, uh, pacing up and down, pacing up and down. I prayed that prayer before, and I have let that prayer before. That when you finish, you know that your 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 joints. And also, <laughs> when you pray, sometimes when you pray that loud, especially when you are living a holy life, that is where that there is a breakthrough. You break through into the atmosphere. So tonight, as you feel, I want you to do it. I want you to talk to God and thank him for how far he has brought you. For you to know and understand the ways of God. In the time past, we were wrestling against our flesh. Fighting devil in our own flesh. But now the Lord has granted us deeper understanding. The, by, the sister Equia said the whole world is in the hands of the devil. Yes, but God is still in control. Satan, the humanity have dedicated the whole world. But I want you to take back your life from the hands of Satan and give it to God. Shall we talk to God in the name of Jesus? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for your word. We bless and we adore you. We worship you because you are good God. Great is your faithfulness. Great is your faithfulness, Lord. Thank you for everything that you are doing with our life. Thank you for the knowledge and the understanding imparting into our hearts, O God, that we will come to the level to understand, O God, that, Lord, the battle belongs to you. We wrestle not against flesh and blood while we wrestle against principality powers spirit yes, in that area oh god that are fighting to snatch our hearts away from you tonight in the name of jesus christ father we take everything out of the hands of the enemy we dedicate our life to you oh god we dedicate our life unto you oh god we bring our mind our soul and our spirit into the hands of god we cry in the name of jesus deliver our soul from every sin. Separate us, O God. Help us to be separated unto you. Help us to be separated unto you, O God. Let our life, let our life, let our life be yours, O God. Let our life be yours, O God. Makorobo shika belelebo santaya. Rakotorobo shika balalaba sanda. In the name of Jesus, shika delebo sakaya. You say righteousness exalt a nation, O God. Righteousness exalt the nation, O God. We bring our life to you. We bring our life to you. We bring our soul, our mind, and our body, O oh God, that we be dedicated unto you, O oh God, that we be dedicated solely unto you. In the name of Jesus, help me to overcome every sin. Help me to overcome every fleshly desire. Help me to overcome every passion, every weaknesses in me, O oh God. Let the weaknesses in me give way to righteousness. Let the weaknesses in me give way to your holiness. In the name of Jesus, in in the name of Jesus, Kando Robo Saka, Mato do 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 Boshika Paraste Kede Robo Sandaya. In Jesus' name, we pray. In the book of Romans, chapter number eight, Apostle Paul said, "Now there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, those who do not walk after the flesh, those who do not wage war after the flesh, those who do not practice their Christian life after the flesh, but they have dedicated their soul to the Holy Spirit." This evening, I want you to call the attention of the Holy Spirit that take control over my soul, take control over my body, that the fleshly desire will cease, that the fleshly practices in my life will give. To the spiritual power to influence and control my life. Shall we pray? Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, be our comforter. 
Holy Spirit, be our warrior, be our anchor, be our hope, be our everything. We dedicate our soul, our body, and our mind to you, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we know that we can do all things through you who strengthen us. We can do all things through Christ who strengthen us. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, we cry that take over, take over our soul, take over our life, take over our mind, take over our will. Makoto robo sakaba, hiendelele bo shikara la basanda, mahando robo sikabelele bo sanda, ma 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 ma, Father, in the name of Jesus. Take over, take over, take over, take over, Holy Spirit. Take over, Holy Spirit. Baptize us with your blazing fire. Baptize us with your blazing fire. Let your electric fire burn every sin in us. Let your electricity burn everything in us, O God. Let your poisonous tongue affect in the demons and witches and wizards which are contending against us, O God. The battle belongs to you. 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 Blow, 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 sin da re kinda ra ba she kada ya. Hie le 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 bo sin na na de liya mama tu ra ba she ke. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Lord, Holy Spirit, be my comforter. Holy Spirit, take control. As I walk in along the way, the road is so narrow. Holy Spirit, take control. Is there any area in your life that you are still struggling? You need to dedicate your life back to the Holy Spirit. That I cannot do it without you. You might be anger. You might be some little, little thing that is dragging you. That Satan is using. You know the weapon that Satan is using to affect your life. Tonight, if you can surrender to the strength of God. If you can dedicate your soul, your mind, and your heart to God. The Lord, I need to contend for my faith. I need to stand no matter what the enemy is doing on my way. Yours might be some worse spoken in the past against you you might be sad sister said that there might be a spiritual warfare that enemy is engaging against you but say lord the battle belongs to you the battle belongs to you the name of the lord is a strong tower the name of the lord is a strong tower the righteous run into it and they are saved the righteous run into it and they are saved tonight i want you to run into the name of the lord i want you to run into the name of the lord speak to the lord speak to the lord declare war in the spiritual realm. That Satan's sin will never rule my life. Sin will never master my soul. Sin will never master my soul. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I surrender my will to the righteousness. I surrender my way to holiness. I surrender my path into the will of God. I dedicate my will to God. Lord, say control. Lord, say control. Lord, call control. In the name of Jesus. The name of the Lord. Lord is a strong sour. The name of the Lord is a strong sour. I run into your name, O oh God. I run into your name, O oh God, and I will be saved. I run into your name, God, and I will be delivered. I run into your name, O oh God, and I will be secured. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Now, is there anyone who has a prayer point? Through what we have studied, you have a prayer point. Come out. And let us pray together. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Makura ba 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 ba. In the name of Jesus. If nobody is having it, I want us to pray among our brothers and sisters who are looking for uh, a fruit, a fruit of a womb. There are many of us who are walking with God, but their womb has been closed. Not that they are walking in sin. The Bible says that Hannah's womb was closed by the Lord because God has a purpose. 
Shall we call upon the name of the Lord? That as many among us who are walking in righteousness, but they, one way or the other, they are crying for the fruit of the womb. Shall we pray that may God supply them? In the name of Jesus, they can be your daughter, they can be your friends, they can be your Christian sister. Shall we call upon the name of the Lord? Because of that, their faith is being staggering. Some are waiting for husbands. Shall we call upon them? Let's bring the need of individual and say, Lord, intervene on your behalf of your children. Shall we pray? In the name of Jesus, Father, we call children to enter into the womb of your people who have denied themselves of every sin, who have removed every worldly things out of their life. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we call upon that name. We call upon that name as many who need, who need a miracle of childbirth. Father, we know you are coming, but your children want to have it. We know that you are coming, but your children want to have it. Father, bless your children. Father, bless them. Bless them. Lead them into the path where the enemy can never have anything to accuse them of. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Right. Father, show yourself to many people who are looking for husbands. As many that their husbands have run away from them. As many who their husbands are chasing after sin. Father, bring them back. Father, bring them back. Wipe away the tears of your people. Wipe away the tears of your people. In the name of Jesus. Father, revisit your people and restore the broken relationship the righteous holy righteous holy broken relationship father we pray that it might be restored it might be restored it might be restored as your people have denied themselves of anything that the enemy has stolen from them bring restoration bring restoration what the enemy has stolen from your children my god bring restoration your word said if we honor you you will bring back what the can come worm caterpillar oh my god and the dry coolers have eaten low we believe that you'll bring it back restoration oh god restoration to the health of your people restoration to the marriage Restoration to their finances, restoration to their soul, restoration into their life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let there be a performance of God. Let there be a performance of God. Let there be a performance of God in the life of your children. In the life of your children, bring peace, bring joy, bring understanding. In the name of Jesus. Let's joy be As your people seek intimacy with you, God, we cry that it shall be permanent in Jesus' name. Now lift up your hands and pray this prayer after me. Say, Jesus, whatsoever you have said concerning me, it shall come to pass. I believe in your promises. I believe in Therefore I know. And therefore, therefore I know. You will never withhold. You will never withhold. You will never withhold. Any good thing. Any good thing. From them that love you. From them that love you. I have run into you. I have run into you. And I am saved. And I am saved. All my battle belongs to you. All my my belongs to you. And since you are the one that fight my battle for me, and since you are the one that fight my battle for me, victory is shield. Victory is shield. Victory is shield. Victory is shield. You are mine. You are mine. And I am yours. And I am yours. Forever. 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 We shall live together. We shall live together in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Baptize me with your Holy Spirit. Baptize me with your Holy Spirit. Give me your heart. Give me your heart. Give me your mind. Give me your mind. And let me walk with you. And let me walk with you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Before we will sign off, I want to address those people who are watching us on Facebook. Maybe the first day, the first day that you are following our teachings, we don't want to go off without giving the opportunity to confess Jesus as your Savior. 
I know that some of you, you are worshipping God all right, but you know for sure that if you die today, you can't make it. Because you have so many things that belong to Satan. You dress with his property. You sleep where his properties are. You walk in where things belong to. I want you to pray and surrender your will, your ways unto God. I want you to dedicate your life unto Christ and say, Jesus, I am yours. I dedicate my life and my soul to you. I surrender my life to you. I welcome you into my life as my Lord and my Savior. Please give me your heart. Give me your mind. Give me your spirit. And let me walk with you in Jesus' name. If you are on Facebook and you have prayed that prayer with us, I believe that the Lord God have answered that prayer. If you have anything that you want me or the, the fellowship to pray with you, I'll be very, very, very happy. You can continuously listen to this teaching 20 on youtube my name is pastor gabriel adadi on youtube i got so many videos that will change your life because this fellowship all that we are doing is we are teaching people how to make heaven if you are not sure of going to heaven join me 24 7 on podcast my name is pastor gabriel adadi on facebook the same name and on whatsapp we share messages every now and then with brothers and sisters every friday evening we do Zoom meeting every Friday evening, UK time, 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock. Please join it. Make it a point to join. You can upload or download the Zoom on your phone. You can connect it and you'll be part sitting here giving us asking questions and anywhere you need help. And we will pray with you. Besides that, the women in the fellowship, they pray every evening. If you are living here in the UK, the women pray in local language. You can flow with them, and many people's life has been changed. If you're a Ghanaian, even if you speak English, they can also help. You can join it either in English or in the Ghanaian language. Every evening and every morning, the down prayers take place from 5 to 6 o'clock UK time. Every morning, they pray on conference uh, call. And every evening from 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock, the virtuous woman, they gather and they study the word of God and they pray. I know you will enjoy this fellowship. Please, it will cost you nothing to join us. It costs you nothing. If you want to have intimacy with Christ, I bet you this is the number one place that your life will be drastically changed. And you will no longer struggle again because you're perceiving heaven. God bless you. I love you to be my friend. And I love you, to, I love you following these teachings. Until we meet again, shall we share the grace of God together. Now may the grace Father, of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ, the love, of God, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit be, with be with us now, now and forevermore. forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Those of you who are on Facebook, this message was recorded. It is on Facebook. I am going to send it also on YouTube. So those of you who want to uh, listen to it again, you can listen to it again. If you want to make comments, if you have any question, please don't hesitate to bring the question in the next meeting. God's willing, our next meeting is going to be Sunday afternoon in the church and Sunday evening in the church. I will always post the videos and post also the meeting time on whatsapp and on facebook if you want to join us may god bless you we love you and see you next time amen bye, bye. 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 good bless night you. <laughs> amen god bless you god bless you god bless you all god bless you everybody. please i sent you a message that i still can't join